Hello everyone and welcome back to another guide video. In this video, we'll be walking through the sewer rooms from inside the back rooms. This guide is based on how I play the level. As you play, feel free to change up the order of events to match your playstyle. Let's begin. The sewers is a level that is full of puzzles and multiple entities. These entities are the rats, the cockroaches, and as I like to call them, the facehuggers. Before we begin, I'm going to explain how to deal with each of them. The cockroaches will never attack you, so you do not need to worry about them. However, the rats and the facehuggers will. The rats are blind and rely on sound to hunt. When they are near you, crouch and move slowly. As long as you do not touch them, you will be safe. The facehuggers are the same as the ones in the pool from earlier. You will be able to easily see and hear them coming, so just move to the side and avoid them. When you start, your first goal is to collect two keys, the storage key and the water treatment key. These keys will be on two random bodies located throughout the level. Check out the map on the screen now. The bluish green dots represent the possible locations for the storage key, and the purple dots represent the possible location for the water treatment key. As you look for the keys, make your way to the shelf room located here. You will need to use one of the following ladders to access it. Once you get there, check out the note that's on the dead body in the room. It will give you a code to a locker located in the lever room. From the shelf room, make your way to the lever room using these stairs. Once inside, avoid the facehuggers and move to the locker on the left side of the room. Open it using the code you found and then pick up the metal detector. Next, you'll need to read the note that is in this room for another code used to deactivate a spike trap and find a lever that is hidden within. The lever will have a goldish shine to it, so you should be able to find it pretty easily. Once you have everything you need, leave this room and pull out your metal detector. You will now need to find two medallions that are hidden under the water. When you are close to one, the metal detector will beep faster and faster. Check out the map on the screen now to see some potential spawns for the medallions. As you are looking for the medallions and the keys, make your way to these two locations. There will be two different notes here that you will need for puzzles. One note has three different angles on it, and the other note is an exit code. Once you have the two keys, the medallions, and the codes, make your way to the petrol room. Here you will need to use the storage key to open the door, grab the bucket, and two oil cans. You will also need to use the spike trap code here to deactivate the spike traps. Once you deactivate the trap, make your way to the labyrinth entrance. You will need to make your way through this maze by pressing buttons to open the door. Watch this example of how to do it. Once you make your way to the end, you will use the pliers found in the dark rooms to break the lock. Follow the hallway to the exit door and the spike trap. Make your way through the deactivated trap and solve the 1 through 8 number puzzle at the end. This will stop the saws in the saw room from working. We will visit this room shortly. 
Before you leave out the exit door, go to the door on your left and grab the final medallion. Make your way to the saw room using the stairs here. Once inside, check out the statue in the back and notate the order of the images on the statue. From here, you'll need to make your way to the oil room. Once here, you'll need to put on your radiation suit and find the drum with oil in it. Once you find it, fill up your two oil cans. Make your way back to the shelf room. Here, you'll use your water treatment key to unlock the door inside. You will now need to dump the oil into the pipes by the water. This will cause the giant facehuggers to jump up and allow you to pass. At the end of the waterway, you will need to place the medallions in the correct order, as seen on the statue. Something to note, if you are by yourself, you will need to make two trips to the oil room and back in order to do all three medallions. Once all three medallions are placed, head back to the saw room and you will see that the statue is broken and revealing a gear. Take this gear and the lever to the weight room located here. You'll need to use the following stairs to access the room. Once here, you'll need to make your way past the giant facehugger and place the gear on the wall at the very end. Then you'll use the lever to put each gear in the appropriate angle using the angles from the note we found earlier. The angles will be as follows. The starting point will equal 0, up is 90, right is 180, down is 270, and all the way back to the left is 360. Once you do this correctly, the lights will turn green and the crusher traps will rise. Open the doors and do the following. Use the bucket you collected earlier to collect all the flesh on the ground. Find the exit door key and then find the note with the final exit code on it. Once you have done all that, make your way to the sewer's exit using these stairs here. Once inside, use the bucket to drop flesh on the ground and distract the small rats. I suggest you only doing this three times when you first make your way into the room. Make your way to the back of the room and you will find a large rat eating our dog friend from the dark rooms. Sneak by him and put in the correct wire codes for both the left and the right side. Sneak back out and distract the small rats once again. Open the exit door and then click on the ladder. You can see what happens next on your own. Congratulations! Your chances of surviving the sewer room in the back rooms has increased. Be on the lookout for more video walkthroughs. Also, if you want to check out my playthrough of Inside the Back Rooms, click on the link on the screen now. I am the Administrator, and remember, even in the back rooms, you've got to secure, contain, and protect. I'll see you next time.